Demolition to an old paper company began today. A fire destroyed the Susquehanna County Transcript Building last month. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live from Susquehanna from the former Transcript Building with the demolition. Cody. Candace, good evening. Demolition picked up about an hour ago, but then quickly ended for the day. The process started earlier this morning with state police fire marshals on scene continuing to look for a cause one month later. It's demolition day. The Susquehanna County Transcript Building in Susquehanna is being torn down and hauled away. It's great to see it go down. I mean, it's been an eyesore, you know, now for a month, I guess. Glad to see it go now. Robert Wayman is watching the process unfold from his vehicle. He was a former paper boy here growing up, delivering Susquehanna County news, sports, ads, politics, and more. And we used to pick them up and go, you know, on our bicycles, pedal them around the neighborhood. The community experienced a loss a month ago as a fire consumed this 100-year-old building. It came on my scanner, but I couldn't believe it until I looked out my window. Patty White has been looking at the rubble outside her window since the night of the fire. The same night, state police fire marshals first came on scene to investigate a cause. 30 days later, they're continuing their investigation as demolition starts. I'm glad it's finally going. Yes, I'm glad that, but about that part. <laughs> definitely an eyesore. It was, yeah. After it burned down, it was definitely an eyesore. <laughs> after talking to people in the community and also with construction workers, it's unlikely that the owner will rebuild at this location because of a creek that goes underneath the building. People are still receiving the Susquehanna County transcript. The owner will, is printing the paper at his home here in Susquehanna. Reporting in Susquehanna, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News, Candace. Cody, thank you. A state police fire marshal tells Eyewitness News the cause of that fire is likely to be ruled undetermined, but the investigation continues.